We look to make sure that there's no bleeding in the brain. And if there's not, then that tells us if the deficits are correct, this is probably a stroke and we an ischemic stroke and we need to treat it as such quickly. So if the person uh, had symptoms, they got to the emergency room in 38 uh, minutes uh, and you made the diagnosis after the CT and now it's 42 minutes, what do you do? Uh, we uh, immediately treat them with uh, TPA as long as they're a candidate to receive that type of medication. Now what is TPA? TPA is uh, it's a clot dissolving medication essentially. Um, it, if there's a clot inside one of the arteries to the brain, it'll try to help dissolve that clot and, uh, and reopen in that blood vessel. And that's, what, that's our main goal and our main aim is to, if there's a clot in the blood vessel, to get it open as quickly as possible. You give the TPA by mouth or by a shot or by intravenous? It's an intravenous uh, infusion. Uh, we give, um, over a minute, we give a, a, what's called a bolus of the medication, and then over the next hour, we give the rest of the infusion. So how quick does the TPA work? How do you know if you're successful? How do you know if things are going to probably be pretty good? Um, that's variable depending on the patient. It's very difficult to determine the improvement after uh, someone is given TPA. In the studies that were done, actually the improvement after TPA was seen three months after the, the stroke itself. Um, so that, that improvement, sometimes we see a, a very robust improvement right after we give the medication. That's very nice to see, but it doesn't happen very often. Um, if we see someone that has a, a, a blood clot in one of the large blood vessels of the brain, then oftentimes the majority of those patients we take for another procedure to try to get that clot out of that artery to and reopen the blood vessel. What do you call that other procedure? This is after you've given the TPA. This is after we've given the TPA. And there's a big clot, the patient's still having trouble. What's the name of that procedure? Uh, it's called mechanical thrombectomy. Mechanical thrombectomy, is right. that new? Um, it's been out for several years, probably just over a decade or so. Was some of the first devices were starting to come out with uh, to pull clots out of the blood vessels of the brain. In the last few years, there's been several studies that have shown very promising results at removing those clots pre pretty safely, actually with pretty good functional outcomes for patients. So how is that done? Mechanical thrombectomy. Thrombectomy means cutting it out, taking it out. Uh, how, how is it done? It's a catheter-based treatment. So the, the doctor would stick a catheter in the large blood vessel in the, uh, in the leg, uh -huh. thread it up all the way into the brain. Wow. And then they kind of deploy this stent device. And the stent device grabs the clot and then they can pull it out. Sometimes they pull it out with a little suction too to get all the clot out. 